everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be doing an unboxing trying out of this. It is like a load of watercolours, it's a Winsor & Newton watercolour set. I have literally had this for years and I've just never opened it. I don't know, it's, re it's so bad, it's really bad. I used to use watercolours like all the time when I was a kid. I used to love using watercolours, I've got loads of watercolour books. But as time went on I just kind of didn't do it. I kind of had this sort of perception that every piece that I made had to be a masterpiece so I never actually practiced with watercolours, I was just made a painting and that's not how you're supposed to do it, you're supposed to do lots of practice with. Anyway, this product, it looks so cool, like it's got like loads of little colours which is so cool, I love lots of colours. Apparently it has 45 half pounds and an integral palette, I don't know what that is but we'll have to see. On the back it says, Cartman watercolours are high quality yet economical, delivering trusted performance. So I'm so excited. The only watercolours that I ever used were literally those ones in a pack of like 12. So it'll be cool to kind of just dive in and see. So let's get on with it. Oh, I love unboxing. It's like so satisfying when you take it out. <gasps> oh, so we're done with the box. I might keep the box because I just love it. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, what's underneath? Oh, it's a little leaflet. I wonder what this does. <gasps> oh, it's all the colours. Look at that. Oh my god, that's so cool. It's all the colours that you get. This is amazing. Look at that. How cool is that? Have you seen the little Windsor and Newton? It's like in this sort of like really like gold colour. <gasps> oh my god, it looks so good. I'm so excited. And all these colours. Oh, let's open it. Let's see what we've got. Oh, it's a blank. It's a blank palette. Let's see. Oh, it comes out. So it's like it falls out. Oh, look at all the colours. Is it in the same order as this? It start off with lemon yellow. Yeah, that one's lemon yellow. And then let's see, what's the end one? White. Oh, they're all in order. That's amazing. Okay, I've just been in the middle and having a look and like, oh my god, look at the colours. But these two, right? So this is ultramarine and I was worried because I know ultramarine blue is kind of like one that I use, that I used to use loads. But uh, they've got two of the same. It's the same colour. It's literally, they've got ultramarine, let's have a look. Yeah, it's the same colour. It's like, it's two of the same colour. Not that I'm complaining, because I know I use it, but why didn't they just put like a, a full pan in there? It doesn't make any sense. Isn't there any more? Ah, uh, they've got two ivory box as well. Ah, uh, they got two pain greys. I never use them a lot. Uh-huh, no. No, just the one. That's really odd. Why didn't they just put two full pans and the white? Very odd. Why not just put like one, two, three, four pans in there? Oh well, I'll start unpacking the rest.
through, so I took all of the packaging off. And this is what we've got. Oh my god, they look so cool. It's like a rainbow. But a lot of them are looking like the same colour. And I know I've got this thing that said like what the colours are and what they look like. However, if I'm painting and I don't have that with me, I'm not going to know what they are. So what I'm going to do is I've got all the labels here and I'm going to cut them out. I've already cut one out over here. I can pick it up. I'm going to hopefully, in theory, this one's lemon yellow. I know you can't see it. But I'm going to put this on there, like that. So, when I'm painting, I can, I'm going to let me focus it. So yeah, so that's how it's going to be. And then I'm going to do it for all of these. And all of these, except for like these two, because they're the same. They're yellow. Okra, okra, I don't know how you say it. These ones are the same, and some of these are the same. So I'm going to do that for all of them. Especially for like these purpley colours. You wouldn't think they're purple, but they are. And you wouldn't think that they're green, but they are. And then black. And yeah, it's it'll be confusing, but it'll be so cool once it's all finished. And in theory, these aren't going to get so mucky that I won't be able to see what they are. Okay, okay, let's do that. Okay, so I've cut all of them out, <laughs> that's been fun, and now I'm going to put them all on there. going to glue them on, it's going to be so fun trying to get all these little bits onto there with glue, but we'll do it, we'll try. I've also noticed as well that like on the side, it has the, I don't know if you can see that, it has the name of what it is, but uh, if I'm looking at it like this, I don't fancy trying to pick up like something in there. Can you imagine? And it's wet and gross and maybe not, so we'll, I'll try and see what this does. See if it sticks. Hopefully. So it's all finished and oh my oh gosh it looks exactly how I wanted it to look. It's literally got the name and then to the paint so I can literally just, if I'm doing it, um, if I'm following a tutorial or if I'm following a book, I can literally just go, yep there's the colour, there it is. Ah, oh, it's just, it's gone exactly how I wanted it to, which is pretty rare. Anyway, now I'm going to do like basically a swatch. So like that but for myself so I can see and see how the colours react and I feel kind of sad because I don't want to mess it up and obviously it will be messed up uh, but I guess I've got to use it sometime. Okay so I got my pad. I also like figured out that you can actually take this off which is amazing so that it's not like that you can just pop it off and I can put it to the side so you know we can, everything can fit. For my paper I've just got watercolour A5 paper that's 300 gizm. Is that what you call it? I don't know, it's just, I know it's a pretty thick one. I've already masked off some squares, hopefully I've got enough. I don't know if I do, and uh, it's already come off. Anything with these types of ones is, like, these types of books is that uh, they always come off all the time and it's so annoying especially when you want a sketchbook to be like ta-da and it comes off and you're like ah so anyway let's get on with it hopefully i don't think i've got enough squares but we'll see i can always use two pages can't i yeah.
Okay, now we're going to do the fun bit on this. We're going to pull the tape and see what happens underneath. Right, which one shall I do first? We'll just do the middle one. Which way have I done this? What have I done first? Ho oh, ho! Oh, what have I done? <laughs> I've made it so complicated. Oh, that's better. Oh, how satisfying is that? Why would I crisscross the uh, the masking tape? Would have made this a hundred times harder. Oh, oh okay. Hey, it's one way to do it. Why would I do this to myself? I just, I just do not think, do I? You know, I was expecting like proper crisp like, edges. What has gone on? Like literally, I've let this dry and the what? Crisp edges. Is it ek? Okay, there we go. There's a bit of a swatch that I can see. Which I, th I think um, these guys have got a better swatch, but I don't know, it gives me more of an idea. So anyway, now that I've got my swatch down and I've got all my stamps on everything, I am going to have a little bit of a mess around, do a little bit of a sketch, a little bit of a paint. I don't know how it will go, I have not picked up a paintbrush to watercolour for about six years, so we shall see. Oh my god guys, I have figured out something revolutionary about this palette. See the groove that's like here? See it? Like literally. Boom. Your pencil, not your pencil. Why did I say pencil? Your brush, your brush goes in there. Oh my God, and you could just take it on the go. It's, that is amazing. Why did I not figure that out when I first got it? Gee, I just wanted to tell you guys about that. I think it's pretty extraordinary to be honest. <laughs> so I've just drawn the quickest sketch ever. I haven't sketched for ages. I don't know if you can see it with the blue. I'll just quickly sketch this weird little cat and mouse uh, fox thing and I'm just going to paint I'm not even gonna look at tutorial thing I'm literally just gonna slap some colors down which I don't think is the best thing but it'll be good to have a bit of a mess around with it uh, I don't know I haven't painted for ages I feel like this is gonna end up really bad but we'll see we'll see we'll have a look and we'll see
Okay, so I've had a bit of a mess around with these watercolours. Oh my god, I need to like actually look at how to use watercolours again because I have completely forgotten all the rules of using watercolour. It's not too bad, I like my mushroom. I think my mushroom's pretty good. But the, uh, the face, oh no. The things like, I just can't do eyes. I don't know what it is, but my eyes never look good. I think I'll need to just practice more, that's probably the best thing. But it was fun learning again. I kind of realised how saturated these colours are and they are so saturated, it is amazing. Like, you get like such a good colour from them. But yes, it's just a little bit of a mess around that I've had. So that was it for my watercolour palette opening using thing. It's not really, it wasn't a review at all, it was literally just me messing about with a colourful palette and I can't wait to get into watercolours again it's such a cool medium it's like you don't know where it's gonna go what's it gonna do really I'm so excited to be painting more with it in the future and doing more paintings and just messing about with it I think when I was little I just didn't mess about with it I just wanted to make good pieces of art all the time so it's really exciting to have like a new mindset and a new approach to it so anyway guys if you enjoyed this video please leave a like or a comment in the section below and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye guys!